This week, a new exhibit exploring shipwrecks and the Great Lakes will open to the public at the Wisconsin Maritime Museum in Manitowoc. Noel Frill joins us live from the museum this morning to show us how an underwater photographer is bringing some of those mysterious shipwrecks to life. Good morning, Noel. McLeod, thank you so much. I'm here with Kevin Cullen, who's the deputy director and the chief curator here at the Wisconsin Maritime Museum. And behind us are some shipwrecks from Lake Huron. So Kevin, for those who are just now joining us, just tell us again a little bit about this exhibit. So we're in the Lake Huron section, as you said. There's three lakes featured and about a dozen shipwrecks, uh, photographs that Becky Kagan shot took, uh, some of the most exquisite shipwrecks, intact ones in the Great Lakes. So behind us is the Detroit, a sidewheel steamer in Lake Huron. It's in the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. Some of these wrecks are in right off our shore in the Wisconsin National Marine Sanctuary, Shipwreck Coast National Marine Sanctuary. So this wreck is really quite extraordinary when you look at these paddle wheels that are still there in over 200 feet of water. This sunk before the Civil War. So they're immigrant ships that were bringing people from all over Europe and elsewhere around the world to the shorelines that became the towns like Manitowoc and Green Bay. Yeah, it's such a cool way to get a look back into history. And then if we come over here, just tell me a little bit about what this is so people can kind of virtually explore some of the 3D models that you've created of these shipwrecks. So right, this is Becky's, uh, Becky Kagan shot, who you'll hear from in a moment, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and so based, based on thousands of photographs, uh, it's called photogrammetry. Mm -hmm. Folks uh, in the exhibit, this is a prototype because we're still, we're about to open this tomorrow. So you're getting a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're working out the bugs, but we're actually gonna have three different models that folks can interact with and see the entire shipwreck as it is virtually. So you can also use VR and do this from home, uh, but learn about the shipwreck using these 3D models that then get even printed into a physical model of the shipwreck. Yeah, very cool. And I feel like people don't really know how dangerous the waters of the Great Lakes really can be. I know you do a lot of work with shipwrecks. And so just kind of tell me how this really puts it into perspective, uh, the history behind the, the shipwrecks. So it, it's tremendous. These are underwater museums mm -hmm. and many of them, the cold, fresh water preserves them so well. And we're lucky to be able to have technical divers like Becky go down and with the, some of the lighting that is done on these wrecks, I mean, it's, it's hours and hours and hours of getting the right focal points. So right. having that technical skill with then archeological insights, we can now understand these shipwreck sites like never before. Yeah, very cool. Well, this exhibit, like you mentioned, opens this week. It's gonna be here through November, is that right? Through November, we're very excited. And it hopes to come down this summer when you get like jumping in the water and snorkeling around. You don't have to go 200 feet, but you can see shipwrecks right off our shore if you just walk along the beach. Yeah, very cool. Well, we have an interview coming up right now with the photographer behind this exhibit. McLeod is going to introduce you to her coming up right now. McLeod, I'll send it back to you. All right, Noel, thank you so much. And Becky Kagan shot is the photographer behind that exhibit, and she's joining us live this morning to tell us more about what went into creating it. Becky, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Thanks so much for having me. I'm really excited about this exhibit. So tell us more about the process that it took to capture a lot of these images and how long did it take to really get everything together? Well, I'm an underwater photographer and I get to travel the world and the Great, the Great Lakes is my absolute favorite place to dive anywhere on the planet. And it's taken me over a decade to collect some of the images that you see in the exhibit um, because, I mean, they're they're cold, they're deep, they're dark. Uh, sometimes I have to go back multiple times with a team to really um, uh, bring these shipwrecks to life by using like the latest technology, the latest lighting technology. Um, and as Kevin mentioned, we're technical divers. So a lot of times we're wearing like hundreds of pounds of equipment and rebreathers to be able to go down and visit some very rarely seen shipwrecks and try to, to capture their powerful, their powerful stories through imagery. And how would you describe your style of photography? I mean, this is such a, a cool experience to be able to see this in person. What would you say about it? I, I like to try to create something that's going to really uh, ignite your imagination, whether you're a diver or a non-diver and, and just like look at these shipwrecks because when I see them, I'm in awe, like to be able to see a wooden schooner from the 1800s still intact in my mind, it's like Disney, it's like a Disney created a shipwreck and that's what you would picture a shipwreck looking like. So I really try to capture that, that feeling that I personally get when I'm diving these wrecks and, um, you know, show scale. I love to see divers in, in the shots to, to show scale and, and show that, um, you know, these, these places really exist and they are like underwater museums and time capsules, uh, which is pretty incredible. So I know you're traveling for work right now. Can you tell us a little bit more about your job as an underwater photographer and what that really involves? 
Yeah, so a professional underwater photographer and cameraman. So I shoot documentaries for Red Bull, National Geographic, Discovery Channel. Um, and then I also do uh, still photography, obviously. Uh, I'm actually heading off to Antarctica today. So I'm down in Argentina. Uh, so I'm heading down to uh, Antarctica to, to shoot penguins and seals um, and icebergs, of course. So, um, you know, my job entails a lot of different locations. And it's funny because I grew up in Florida. And I never thought I would dive cold water, but it seems like cold water uh, locations are are sort of my niche and my absolute favorite places to go because they are unique. There's a lot of challenges involved, like diving in the Great Lakes. Uh, it's not easy diving. It is cold. There's not a lot of light, um, but it's it's uh, I like the challenge. So that's yeah, that's the fun cool part right for there. me. Well, sharing your story from Argentina this morning, we certainly appreciate you. Thank you so much for waking up early for us. I cannot wait to see that in person. Uh, again, thank you so much.